Hey folks, just wanted to show you what I've been up to for the last couple days. I'm uh, making my slide out table from my bed. So anyhow, this is the table and it will have tracks on the side. And it's going to have a, a, a lip on each side. That way, if you spill anything, it's not going to run off. It'll run off the front or back. But uh, that way, it sort of gives you um, better, more control if you, if you spill liquid. So it won't uh, roll off the table. I'll probably put a lip on the front, too, and on the back, just so it, it stays contained. So I glued all this stuff to, together. This is just simply... Um, particle board right here and then to make it look nice I did 1 8 inch uh, plywood so let's show you what it looks like in the bus I also uh, took apart the dash uh, it was rusted right there this is uh this is the front side uh, for hitting the uh, hitting the windows the windshield the other one's over there it was pretty badly rusted out on the inside and outside so I went ahead and took it out and cleaned it up all right so here's the here's uh I also took the top off of this to clean it and paint paint it and then uh, you can see hopefully Down the side of there, I that was pretty well rusted, so I cleaned that out and painted it. Um, also, installed a power center. Um, these are the center ones are uh, two USBs. They're 3.0 USBs, which means I guess uh, you can get up to three amps from each socket, or or uh, one and a half amps but I think it's three amps from each socket then this is cigarette lighter um, the uh, the cigarette lighter I had to have one for my uh, my GPS um, came, it's the Garmin 770 really nice you can punch in there um, the, the height of your rig, the length of your rig, whether it's a, you know, because mine's 41 feet with the trailer hooked up. So if you have a 40, 41 foot bus, you can put in 41 foot bus, or you can actually uh, let the computer know that it's um, a bus and a trailer that make up the 41 foot. So pretty cool. So that way it's sort of, the, the big part is the height. Uh, so this will route you uh, supposedly to uh, to on roads that have enough height for your bus anyhow um, so let's go take a look at my what I did back here so this is what I did I cut it out right here and I put a uh, I think this is a 35 inch uh, 35 or 36 inch uh, full extension slide out so it comes all the way out to here so I can if I want to I can slide it all the way out and uh, and uh, put my laptop on it and work and I'll probably have a um, I'm gonna install a monitor or a TV right there um, and that way I could actually pull that out and uh, hook that to my laptop and have a much bigger picture um, and I can also if I wanted to sit down right here uh, on some pads or whatever and do my work and and have it on the laptop or have it on the TV uh, but I, I'm gonna set it up to where I'm gonna have grooves on the bottom slots on the bottom of the table and I'll have a metal uh, piece right here that will flip up to hold the table in and it'll also flip up to go into those slots so that way it locks the table in at whatever distance I want out. 
So anyhow, that's what I've been up to the last couple of days. Uh, and uh, re, uh, re-coating that, re-clear coating that. All right, I just think, just thought I'd uh, bring you up to speed on what I've been up to. Uh, right now, I'm uh, working on adjusting the parking brake. When I'm, I'm on the hill, so um, the parking brake's not grabbing very well, so I need to adjust it. Um, ran wires. Ran my wires uh, right here. Come out over there. And then come in here behind the dash, the side dash. And then I drill a hole there and on the inside. And I put a grom rubber grommet in there so it doesn't uh, 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 scrape through, cut through the um, insulation. And so my backup light now is working. I got it hooked up. And uh, I put a light up underneath there. I'm not sure if you can see that. Put a light there. I'm thinking about putting a light right here. Also put lights right up behind that board and there. Um, and I cut holes for these switches. They're not really supposed to be recessed, but the board is too thick right here. So I recessed the, the, uh, the light switches. And so they fit in just like that. And the bottom one will be for these bottom lights because I installed uh, three and I have to do one more but this thing here is in the way right now so I've got two over the sink and two over the um, fridge and then the fridge will have a cutting board on top of it so we've got two lights over that and that so then the bottom switch will go for the bottom lights top switch for these lights up here inside of here And I need to order, I think I know I've got them, um, but I'm gonna put lights here too. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put them back there or not. But uh, I need to put lights back inside of here. And again, top one, uh, top one will be for these lights and the bottom switch will be for the lower lights. And that noise you hear is my Inverter running back there. It's charging. Finally got my um, my wiring done for my uh, trailer hookup, wire-wise. Uh, still got the. Um, let's see, where is it at? I had to make a bracket for my tre treadle brake control. That's my bracket. It's gonna, it's gonna go like this underneath the uh, dash once I put that panel back on. And where is my, trying to find my, uh, here's my brake control right here, trailer brake control. So it's kind of cool, as, uh, as you see on the bottom, um, you can manually do it like that, I think. I haven't read the instructions yet, but uh, you have to adjust it uh, for different types of trailer brakes or how heavy the trailer is. So once you get going, uh, it might be set to where the brakes just automatically are apply when you hit the brake. The hey, folks! Sorry about that. Um, didn't <clears throat> didn't realize that the uh, recording had stopped. Yes, I'm sweating. It's a 
pretty warm here today, plus it's humid, because we're supposed to get some storms here in a couple hours. This is in Texas. Anyhow, um, just wanted to show you, actually, the uh, completed dash. I think it looks pretty good. I can't remember what I was trying to explain to you. I think it was uh, the um, assist from the brake, the trailer brake. Uh, but anyhow, um, just wanted to give you the update on the table. Here's my table. Right here. Full length, full uh, uh, full extension tracks. So I have 35 and a half inch table slides out like that and like I said I'm gonna put a little um, metal bracket right here that will swivel up and lock into certain positions of the bottom of the table so it'll stop it but it works very nice had to do a little bit of adjustment on the back side uh, I had I was off by a quarter an inch uh, I didn't realize that the that it wasn't perfectly parallel um, the boards the supports there so I had to adjust I had to move it move the this leg out right here about a quarter of an inch in the back but everything was working out fine it slides in and out great I'm gonna probably put a little handle right here but I'm very happy with it uh, I don't oh I got my uh, I got my front fog light spot slash fog light slash spotlight working. It's not working right now. I didn't turn it. It's not turned on. It's not hooked up. But um, I'm running it off. I'm going to run it off a relay. Four pin relay. Um, and I was having a hard time hooking it up, but I finally got it hooked up. These are all the wires hanging out. I'm just I'm waiting on a, um, a female plug for this. And then you um, hook the wires up to that, and then you plug this into the female plug. But uh, that'll be here, I think, Friday. Um, getting all my wiring done. I don't think I have... Uh, those lights hooked up yet. I don't have any of the lights hooked up yet, except these bottom, these uh, ceiling ones. But um, it's coming along very well. My and uh, so that's that was where I hooked my ground up to uh, for the light. That won't be the permanent uh, light or permanent ground. I'll make a. Uh, I'll do one probably in there. Or, not sure where yet. But, the cool thing about these is, normally, you would run a wire all the way back, two wires, all the way from the battery to this and then to the switch. But what you do here, I don't know if you can see it, you got numbers on there. And, uh, 30 is your ground. 87 is your out. Let me see if I got that right. And then 85 is your hot out. In other words, your source, your uh, what you're going to power. And then 86, I think, is the switch. Either that or back, it's backward, one or the other. I think uh, 85 is uh, for your switch. So you hook. Uh, I, you took, hook two wires up to this this one here, this one here, and then you run you run up. Well, the one you hook up to here is going to be two wires, but one of them is going to be a pair, and it's going to run all the way down to the switch, and then the switch, then the pair on that, the other pair on that wire on that strip 
is going to go come back to here. So you flip the switch on and it closes the relay inside of here. Then this, this is your ground, I believe. And then this is your hot out, or your, yeah, hot out right here. So um, it's pretty cool having a relay like that so you don't have to run extra wire. And this is a 24 volt relay. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Having a hard time focusing. Focus. There you go. 24 volt relay. I had to have that because my battery bank is 24 volt. Unlike my starting battery, which is only 12. Even though I have two, they're hooked up in parallel. The battery, the house batteries are hooked up in series and parallel. Anyhow, I just figured I'd give you an update. Um, so I appreciate you watching. Um, not too much left to go on the bus. Got to change the oil. Um, just the emer uh, the parking brake, and eventually hook up to the uh, trailer and make sure all the lights are working, and everything, the brakes working, and then take this in the shop to let them do a uh, thorough inspection on it. Um, but thanks for watching again. And uh, please subscribe, like, and share. Be hitting the road soon, around the end of May. So then uh, at that time, it'll be Cool Breeze Travels. So anyhow, just wanted to give you an update. Be safe. Till next time.